We have about one minute. Your greatest terror connects directly with your fear of your personal death. Now, I said with your fear of your personal death, but the idea of your personal death is yours, not God's. You're afraid that you are going to die. And I don't care how many times you have heard this before, listen to me. All fear of death is false. Look, go back just a little bit. There's so many avenues we could go down here. Is fear a good thing or a bad thing? Now tell me, you tell me. Fear is bad. All right. So, if you connect fear with death, then fear of death is a bad thing, right? Now, a bad thing is always also a false thing. How could anything that is negative, bad, harmful be true? It is something that exists only because of misconceptions, of fantasies in the human mind in which the human being makes himself the center of the, his whole life and of the universe true. He makes himself the center of that, thereby creating fear which is false because it's based on the false premise that you are an ego unto yourself. So fear arises when anything comes along to threaten the quote mark death of the ego which can't die because it was never born. If you see this, if you see that you, you by your name and your conditioning were never born, then how can you die? But you swear that those experiences that now, the accumulations that now make you, you would swear that you're you and you're afraid of that. You're therefore afraid of the cessation of thought, memory, self, and all these things put together. You're afraid of the ending of that because you call it you. If you see it's not you, that is what death is. The death of an illusion. When the illusion goes, then you know and you understand. And there's no fear of death. There can't be because you have died to delusion. And good night. The death of mechanical thoughts is the death of me, therefore the death of my misery and the birth of eternity. Thoughts do not enter heaven. If thoughts could enter heaven, they would try to rip it apart and make it into what it is. But they don't even make it that far. There's no way. There's a great gulf between the two. And you have to pass between that gulf. That's what hell is. The gulf between thoughts and cosmic consciousness. This means you're going to have to leave thoughts that make you, that ma you're going to have to leave thoughts that even make you the traveler, the journeyer to heaven. Here am I in thought. I'm going to get to heaven. I study religious books. I pray. I read the Bible. And I think I'm getting toward heaven. I'm not. I'm self-delusion. Just the thoughts you're talking about. I finally come to this blank space, this, this great gulf. And it frightens me when I get to the edge of it. But as I understand the necessity for either being authentic or being phony and dying phony, I give up and I enter this gulf. And in, the, in this gulf, you can say that's the transition stage where I begin to fade out little, 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 little. Finally, when I'm gone altogether, then I'm through with the gulf. And then there's this understanding on the other side. But I am not, I am, I don't possess the understanding. This I doesn't. That's gone. There is understanding, and I am one with that. But the word I and that are one thing. Because only God 
has understanding.